Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. What an asshole. Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. What an asshole. I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? In a strictly official capacity, no. However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. I suppose if you must stick with your narrow, parochial view of in charge, then yes. It's a no. Are we done? It's a simple idea. The army offers fiscal security and generous benefits at the cost of substantial personal risk, if you're on the front line. If you perform too poorly, they'll scrub you out. Perform too well, and you get sent to the front lines. All I have to do is ride that mediocrity gradient to a cushy, do-nothing job miles away from the war. To what purpose? It's highly unlikely you'd understand anything I'd say. Suffice to say, I'm a certified genius, and when I'm discharged from this pit of testosterone and failure, I'll have all the money I could ever need. I somehow suspect you'll be back to converse with me later. Nelson's back in our hands. Y'all sure are a big ol' hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. I'm mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Raz kinda scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. It's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we gotta do, though. I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. Well, I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa, my two sisters, and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Didn't ever have no problems, really, except for some lean years. Then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty, and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. Toodaloo. First recons at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we've got a chance to... I hear Caesar's dead, and we've got you to thank for it. Nice work. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. Think that might have something to do with it? Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people, but they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition, no drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. 
please. Camp golf is where they shuffle off anybody they don't want anymore. Assignment here is a career ender. I guess I wanted to make something of myself, you know? Be the best of the best. I wanted to be a ranger, but guess this is as close as I get. Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. Sure. See you around. To hold it. Oh shit, here comes the brown noser. What you want? Ain't much to tell. Grew up out west, in the boneyard. Heard of it? <laughs> yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know? I joined up to get out. My family's still back there. We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart-ass prick. O'Hanrahan's a big pussy, ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? Whatever. Not like I need any of them. I do just fine on my own. What do you want to know? Whole place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the rangers use the old resort and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. Shit, honey, it was this or the fiends. And fiends don't last too long in the NCR. At least this way the badasses with the top shelf guns are on my side. Right. Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. What an asshole. I've been hearing some rumors from the embassy that Mr. House has gone quiet all of a sudden. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. Yeah, well, somebody has to wrangle those washouts and losers. Somebody's got to turn them into a real fighting force. Disappointed. We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. Man, it's my life. I joined up when I was 16. I don't know how to do anything else. Yeah, well, I didn't want to get promoted out of the field. I didn't join up to drive a desk. Yeah, whatever. managed to become extraordinarily well-liked by the top brass. You should exploit that for your own gain wherever possible. That seems highly illogical. What reason would he have for doing that? Well, this is an unexpected variable. I had hoped to coast on an easy wave of mediocrity to a cushy government pension. And how would you propose accomplishing such a goal? Hmm, an intriguing proposition. Company readiness reports are logged on the computer systems at the resort. If you hack the system, you could alter our records. Such an attempt, however, is likely to thwart efforts to motivate the squad to do actual work. If such is your goal, you should look elsewhere. As you wish. 
I'm sure the optimal solution will become apparent to you in time. I somehow suspect you'll be back to converse with me later. Y'all sure are a big ol' hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. To me? I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am, or they ain't gonna listen. Whatever you think's best. Toodaloo. Oh shit, here comes the brown noser. What you want? Yo, I'll tell you what this squad needs. A healthy dose of angry juice. Psycho, the big red one. I used to run with the fiends. I still got the hookups. Smuggle some in and you'll see an improvement. Whatever. Right. First recons at Camp Forlorn Hope. I hear Caesar's dead. Maybe that means the war will be over soon. Hey. Hell of a battle at Nelson. I'm impressed our troops survived. He did, huh? Well, good luck with that. You'd have an easier time teaching rad roaches to march in formation. Well, if you ask me, what we really need is to get this whole squad out on the practice range, shape up our marksmanship and explosive skill. I'm sure the others have their own ideas, though. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. You're the boss. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Okay, everybody's lined up and ready to go. Any suggestions? You heard the lady people. Get focused. I've got the one at 11 o'clock. Raz, O'Hanrahan, take the two on the right. Poindexter, the center. Right. Exhale, squeeze. Focus on the shot. Thanks for the help. I think the whole unit's doing a lot better now. The first recon to Camp Forlorn Hope. For a nuclear now we got a chance to hold it. So now the word is Caesar's calling in his elite troops from Arizona. I don't think we're going to catch a break anytime soon. Nelson's back in our hands. Hope. Wow! The big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? It helped, but we still got a grenade range inspection to pass. After the help you gave us at the shooting range, we'll take any advice you've got. I'll line them up. We can defend it this time. Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and the course is live. We're all set. Right, easy enough. One, two, 
Three. Solid arc. Check. Lob them up and over, people. Hold the grenades for group, squad. Hit them in clusters and send them running. Yeah, I do. Thanks. I think we might survive this now. The big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? Thanks to you, I think we're in good shape. The squad seems to be functioning much better as a unit now. Shooting guns is real scary, but I think I got the hang of it. Shooting guns is real scary, but I think I got the hang of it now. Okay, okay, I admit it. Knowing how to use these guns right is pretty cool. Wish I could have been there to see Caesar Wish I could have been there to see Caesar what die. Asshole. What an asshole. Nelson's back While I have Nelson's already internalized the new skills we've discussed, discussed, I feel as though my solution was nevertheless more practical. Wish First I could have been there to see Caesar, Caesar die. Nice work dealing with Caesar. That'll make holding the Mojave a lot easier. Yeah, whatever. Shooting guns is real scary, but I think I got the hang of it now. But... While I have already internalized the new skills we have discussed, I feel as though my solution was nevertheless more... Okay, okay, I admit it. Knowing how to use these guns right is pretty cool. Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. 